Good afternoon. It's Thursday, November 10th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting that Smithfield Packing Company announced today that it would shift production from its Portsmouth, Virginia plant to Kinston, North Carolina, and permanently close the Portsmouth facility in early 2013. The Portsmouth plant produces hot dogs and lunch meat, and the plant closure will affect approximately 425 employees. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, head to foodmarket.com. Now let's check out the markets. For this week's eggs processed under federal inspection report, here's Terrence Wells. Eggs processed under federal inspection totaled 1,357,222 cases for the week ending November 5th. The number of cases broken is unchanged from the previous week, but up 4% from the same week last year. The cumulative total year to date remains up 1%. 752,807 cases were broken in line this week, representing 55.5% of the total break. Retail demand continues to lag as buyers take a hand-to-mouth approach prior to the holiday. Producers remain confident, however, anticipating historical Thanksgiving needs and hold supplies as opposed to forcing them to the breaker. I'm Terrence Wells with your eggs processed under federal inspection report. Now back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Terrence. Talking turkey overall, a pretty quiet set of conditions has greeted our morning price discovery efforts. Whole birds are all but non-existent at most points of sale. We are seeing some offerings at distributorships looking to attract a bit more spot business. Consumers are slow in heading out to grab their holiday turkey, but this isn't out of the ordinary given the calendar date. The undertone is steady to occasionally full steady. Fresh thigh meat isn't necessarily short overall, but there are instances where premiums are paid. Frozen inventories are non-existent, and breast meat is very steady at the moment. We're hearing of some buyers backing away from a few commitments, but overall this line is unwavering at the moment. Now here's Russ Barton with an inside look at Erner Berry's Poultry Report. The uptick in activity this week has been a breath of fresh air for most industry players and the marketplace in general. It's not to say the trading levels have exploded all over, but compared to the last few weeks, there's no doubt that business patterns are more vigorous. The latest broiler hatch report revealed a 6% decline in eggs set and an 8% decline in chicks placed relative to last year's figures. Today's chart focuses on the latest market stance of wings. Recently, the need for wings has been abundant under seasonal influences and the Erner Barry quotations for these items have advanced as a result. Also playing a role in this scenario has been their persistency of the producer to cut back their head counts. For each less bird slaughtered, that equals two fewer wings being sold on the streets and this has forced most buyers into a feeble position. Looking ahead, seasonal demand and the likeliness of continued declines in production should keep the wing in a gradually ascending flight pattern through at least the end of the fourth quarter. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Poultry Report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Moving over to red meat, the bulk of box beef offerings are priced at steady money, with some slight advances seen for choice ribs and strip loins. Ground beef and domestic fresh 50s trimmings remain well sold, offsetting with a bit of weakness seen with end cuts. In the boneless beef market, fatter trim holds a steady to firm undertone this morning. Offering levels continue to be firm. Leaner boneless beef is unchanged so far. The imported beef markets are also unchanged this morning. Some light trading activity has occurred within our listed levels for blend cow 90s. In the pork market, processing items are expected to be mixed as high production levels have resulted in prices that are drawing increased interest on several lines. Hams are called mostly steady today, with product easily clearing following recent discounts. Bellies are now in zone where participants feel comfortable adding product to freezers, and trimmings are called mixed with fresh 50s maintaining a steady to possibly firmer outlook due to supply issues while 80s are expected steady. Loin and butt products are still well supplied overall, however quantities vary by seller and may result in rather wide training ranges. This appears to be especially true in butts. Spare ribs continue to be fully supported by freezer orders. That wraps up Burner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.